He said, stop this nonsense, ask some question. Today's the last day. And the master is alive constantly, he's de-entangling you. Afterwards, just sadhana. He's lived well. When death comes, he will die well. Namaskaram Sadhguru, why are we so afraid of death? See, right now, why there is so much fear is, the substance of your life is only in your clothes, your jewels, your education, a few people that you gathered around you, that's all the substance of your life is. All these things can be taken away from you any moment, isn't it? This is the only thing which is giving you solidity, yes? That little bit of education, your clothes, your jewels, your bank balance, a few people around you, this is all that is giving you some sense of solidity of being a being. This is not a being, this is a patch-up job. So, with such petty blocks when you build a building, naturally you should be very worried when it will collapse. Now, instead of using a stone block for this column, if I use the twig, definitely I'll be always worried when it'll collapse on my head, isn't it? Isn't it so? That's your worry, that's your fear, because you're trying to build your life with twigs, not with solid material, not with reality, with illusory things. Always you will live in fear, there is no other way to live. There is simply… if you are living in a house which is su supported by twigs, being afraid that it will collapse on your head is very natural, isn't it? That's all that's happened to you. It's time you build some… you bring something more substantial into your life. If you bring something more substantial, then suddenly you find, if you sit here, everything is fine. Life or death, still it is fine. That's how it will be. A very beautiful story. Buddha, on the last day of his life, he always had a breakfast of rice gruel in the morning. And after this breakfast was over, he always met the monks who were around him. And every day he said, if you have a question, you ask. This went on for forty years. Forty years of his enlightened life, every day after breakfast he spoke. Whoever was there, ten people, ten thousand people, whatever number, after breakfast he always sat down and spoke. So on the last day of his life, he knows this is the last day. He had his rice gruel and he sat down and he said, today is the last day. If you have anything to ask, ask. So many of the monks started crying. I said, what are you crying? At least some other day if you were crying, it's okay. Today is the last day, don't waste the time because <laughs> it's ticking away. Some other day you could cry and roll and you had time for all those things. Today, if you want to ask something, you ask. He was surprised that people are crying. But Master, we have been with you for so long, you are leaving today and they are crying, nobody asking any questions. He said, stop this nonsense, ask some question. Today is the last day, any doubt, let's clear it. After that there is only teaching, nobody to clear this and that, all the… See, with every teaching you can get into a mess. When the Master is alive, constantly is de-entangling you. Afterwards, no de-entangling, just sadhana is all that is there. So today is the last day, if you want to ask any questions, please ask. It's just matter of fact about it. He's lived well. When death comes, he will die well. He's so certain that he'll die well. So, it's just another day. One day you took on the body, another day you walked about with the body, another day you leave the body. You make a big issue out of it, simply because you have a keyhole vision of life. 